Hello viewers, I am Dharya and have come up with the second part of types of computer. This would be a part of computer fundamental series. So in this video, we will discuss types of computer on the basis of signal. So let us start. So there are three types of computer on basis of signal. Analog, Digital, Hybrid Computer Let's see and understand the types of signal. There are two types of signal. One is Analog. It is a continuous signal which represents the physical measure. We can say that the value gradually moves from one point to another and cover all the infinite points between the two given points. Some examples are thermometer, speedometer and telephone and many more. In this as you can see the two values given are 35 and 36. So the mercury gradually moves from 35 to 36, taking all the infinite values between 35 and 36. Even if it is 35.2000523006, the mercury will go through this value also. Now comes the analog watch. In this, the second hand or any other hand will go through each and every value. This is a speedometer. The indicator covers the full round passing through each value even if the speed is 35.0020365 km per hour. Now the next is digital signal. The digital signals are discrete signals. These are finite set of possible values. The examples are digital camera, smartphone and laptop. Now if we go further for the explanation, we can say that there is a jump from one point to another without traveling intermediate points between the two given points. In the camera, the pictures and videos are stored digitally. The same is the case with smartphone, data is digitally processed. In laptop also the data is digitally processed. Now let's see the difference between analog and digital. On the left side there is digital multimeter and on the right side there is analog so in the analog multimeter it is very very much difficult to see the value but in digital the digital processor gives us the value on the left side you can see the time is compared on analog and digital so in the analog watch it is very very much difficult to see the value the definite value but the digital watch provides us the value very definite on the right side it is comparing of analog and digital multimeters now we have come to analog computer the computers which work on continuous signal and give continuous output that means they also process the data in analog and give output in analog its measurement unit is physical values like temperature and pressure it is used to perform a particular and specified task, example seismograph. Seismograph is an instrument 
used to measure the shaking caused by earthquake. It can also work as a tide predictor. Now, as you can see in the picture, the shaking of the earthquake is identified by the seismograph and the output is given on a graph which is an analog output. It works on real time and has no storage capacity. Yes, it would not have any storage. Output is analog in the form of graph, signal or movement as in the picture of system graph. You saw that the output is in the form of graph which is analog. Now comes the digital computer. The computer which work on discrete values are known as digital computers. These are based on 0 or 1 which is binary system. These are faster than analog computers and these would be having a large storage capacity. These are highly accurate and reliable. Now the examples of digital computers are desktop, laptop, smartphone, tablet and many more. Now, the third type of computer is hybrid computer. Now, a very interesting fact is that hybrid computer work on both continuous and discrete data. That means it has both analog and digital system. These computers transfer data from analog to digital and digital to analog. These are expensive and complex. They have limited storage space. These are used for specific purpose. Mostly used in system of IC hospitals, aircraft, fuel dispensers and many more. This is a thermometer which provides us the temperature in digital form. But it measures the temperature with a mercury and mercury is analog. So this is a perfect and good example of hybrid computer. The first desktop hybrid computing system was HICOM 250 that was released by Packard Bell in 1961. This is the picture of HICOM 250. Thank you guys for watching my video. Our next topic will be computer memory. Thanks for 100 subscribers and I am telling you that my next subscriber target is 500 subscribers. Thank you for watching my